Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Wendy. Happy Pentecost. Ah, because I've already had a conversation with someone that said, oh, whose birthday is it today? Seeing as though we've let every other birthday go by this last year, would I dare to bring some balloons in and a banner for a special someone? Because you're all special. We're all special, aren't we? In God's eyes, we're all very special. So today, we're celebrating the birth of the church. This was where um, they were all standing together in one place. We're sitting together in one place. And the Holy Spirit came down and filled them with power. And we know the Holy Spirit came with fire, wind, very good. What else happened? Thank you, Rod. And they were speaking in different languages as well, weren't they? So um, it all went on that day. And you know that day, Peter did a sermon and actually more than 3,000 people came to know Jesus in a really special way. That's a mission for you isn't it? It is. Thank you. Let's just have a moment's quiet. I don't know about you, but I just seem to get busier and busier. And to say there's really still not much to do, I just feel like I'm run off my feet. So um, I'd like that moment's quiet and I'd like you to join me in that as well. Welcome to you who are watching later on our recording. Happy Pentecost to you too. And we bring all those thoughts into this one place and we say Lord in your mercy hear our prayer here we can see it all look there's the wind there's the tongues of fire and there's the dove descending down and as we continue to sit. Lynn's going to play us as she does so beautifully our first song to listen to. Holy Spirit, we welcome you.
as we join in our worship together. Gather us in, the lost and the lonely, the broken and the breaking, the tired and the aching, who long for the nourishment found at your feast. Gather us in, the done and the doubting, the wishing and the wandering, the puzzled and the pondering, who long for the company found at your feast. Gather us in, the proud and pretentious, the sure and superior, the never inferior, who long for the levelling found at your feast. Gather us in, the bright and the bustling, the stirrers and shakers, the kind laughter makers, who long for the deeper joys found at your feast. And shall we say this last paragraph together, join us together in unity, as we say, gather, gather us, us in, in from, from corner, corner or limelight, from mansion or campsite, from fears and obsessions, from tears and depression, from untold excesses, from treasured successes, to meet, to eat, be given a seat, be joined to the vine, be offered new wine, become like the least, and be found in the feast. Gather us in. And we say this prayer together. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. We come now to our invitation to confession, where God invites each one of us to bring all that we are sorry for. God so loved the world that he gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to save us from our sins, to be our advocate in heaven, and to bring us to eternal life. And now, let us confess our sins in penitence and faith, firmly resolve to keep God's commandments and to live in love and peace with all. As we say together, Lord our God, in our sins we have avoided your call. Our love for you is like the morning cloud like the dew that goes away early, have mercy on us. Deliver us from judgment. Bind up our wounds and revive us. In Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. May the God of love and power forgive us and free us from our sin, heal and strengthen us by his Spirit and raise us to new life in Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And uh, now, our reading, which, uh, as you can see, is uh, quite short, and it's from Acts, and it's appropriate for today. Acts chapter 2, from verse, verse 1. When the day of Pentecost came, they were all together in one place. Suddenly... A sound like the blowing of a violent wind came from heaven and filled the whole house where they were sitting. 
they saw what seemed to be tongs of fire that separated and came to rest on each one of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit enabled them. And now. And now. And now. You need a mic, Jeff. I do. Ish. We've got to wait till Liv can come. I in. know. Oh, I know she's there now. I know she's gonna. She's gonna come and be our director. Bless her this morning. <laughs> oh, you are, Liz. <laughs> How are we doing? Brilliant. Okay. This is a lovely box, isn't it, Jeff? Oh, yes. It's very nice. It is. It's very nicely wrapped as well. Oh, oh. Look at that there. What do you think that might be, Jeff? I think you've got to find out. Well, there's a label on it, you know. Oh, there's a label. Darling, that's good. Oh, it's a big label. What does it say on the label? Can you read it? To St Paul's Church, Colton, with love. <gasps> Go on. Thank you say very again, much. So can you say can it hear. again so everyone can hear us? To St Paul's Church, Colton, with love. <gasps> to St Paul's Church, Colton, with love. Is, is that us then? Is that, is, is that us? Yeah. Yes, of course it is. So, it's addressed to us here at St Paul's. So, we'd better have a look what's inside it, haven't we? Yeah. Oh. Go on, lift the lid. Shall we see? I need some help here, I think. Absolutely. That's I do doing. need help. Yeah, open it up. Balloon. Oh! Whoa, what have we got here? Oh, well done, well done, well done. Oh, wow, more balloons, more balloons. Fantastic. You can let it go. We can let it go? Lynn would like to let it go all the way. Oh, then there you go, it can match my one. Up there. Okay, are we ready? Okay, yeah? Off you go then. Hold it, hold it together then and let them go. Yeah? You can let them go. Let them go. Oh, wow. Fantastic. Ah, oh, so we'll leave the box there then. Thank you, girls. That's fantastic. Thank you. So, yeah, I'm liking it. I'm liking all the packaging and everything. I am. And the label with our name, a gift with our name on it. <gasps> Oh, and who did it say it was from? Did it say who it was from? No. It didn't. It doesn't say who it's from, does it? No. No. Who do we think it might be from? Anybody else? Thank you, Rod. Yes, from God. It's our gift. This is the gift of the Holy Spirit, and the sender is God. Now, we've seen the contents. Oh, oh there's the contents. Right. Oh, the contents. Mm -mm. The contents are, I think I've got a copy of those there. Well, the contents are... Oh, let's have a look. Would you like to have a go at that? Now it's a bit hard, isn't it? You know what it says on this little sketch? It says, inside, right, the contents are undiluted Holy Spirit. Mmm, I like the word pure. I think when you've got something that's undiluted, it's pure, isn't it? So the Holy Spirit, we know, 
is pure. Oh, there's some additives and preservatives. And if we receive this gift of the Holy Spirit, we will know all about divine intervention, divine adoption. Because we see a lot of scripture, a lot of verses in the Bible, and we sing a lot of songs that talk about us being adopted into God's family, don't we? And do you know what? As well, when we receive the gift of the Holy Spirit, we also have an inheritance of eternal joy. Now, if you haven't got eternal joy, that's something you might want to think about today, isn't it? Because if you know Jesus, if you have received the Holy Spirit, if you have received this gift from God, then no matter what comes your way, you should let no one steal your joy. Does it have an expiry date, this gift? No, never. It's eternal. Hmm. Jeff, might there be some danger in this? Oh, yes, it says, may take you out of your comfort zone. Highly inflammable. Do not handle with care or caution. Do use if the seal is broken and the contents have leaked. Do use without supervision. Do eat, drive, operate machinery, use your mobile phone while you're using this product. And there's a recommended daily dose. Actually, it's as much as you can take. Now, some days, depend on where we are in our humanness, I speak personally, this may vary because we may feel like we can't do a particular thing. Very simple, yesterday when I came in and I wanted to change the altar cloth, and I thought to myself, well, I can take that one off, but I can't do, I can't do that by myself. And actually, this morning, when I got the red one out, the red altar cloth out, then actually I did do it by myself. So sometimes when we think things are hard, they're not quite as hard as we think they are. Are they? And we can do everything by the power of the Holy Spirit, right? We can do anything because, again, verse in the Bible tells us that nothing is impossible with God. So recommended daily dose, as much as you can take. It's suitable for everybody. Everybody. Everyone can receive this gift. So, vegetarians, allergy sufferers, elderly people, wheelchair users, pregnant women. Now, there might be some side effects, might they, from this gift? Oh, yes. Yes. May cause alertness, empowerment, loss of control. Compulsion to step outside comfort zone. Enhanced empathy. Substantial hearing gain. Prophetic wisdom. Use liberally in affected areas to alleviate symptoms of injustice, exploitation and greed. Directions. So, after you, after you have absorbed your healthy daily dose because we need a dose daily what we do is when we've received our dose of the holy spirit that pouring in what happens is it comes out for whoever we meet and when people say to us like i did right that we uh, Excuse me. Excuse me, camera, I've just had a drink of water. So you know where I've been. So wherever we go and whatever we do, whoever we meet, 
the more we use the gift of the Spirit, the more we receive of the Holy Spirit, the more we can give out. It's biblical. So what happens then, Jeff, if people think, well, have I got that gift or not? Has it been delivered to me? Well, it says here, if undelivered... If undelivered, you have to keep knocking gently until the do- we can hear Jesus knocking the Holy Spirit, jelly in your belly, nudge, nudge, nudge. And then eventually you open the door of our hearts and Jesus comes in and the Holy Spirit continues to guide us. Thank you, girls. That was really great. I think that Rod and Margaret would like to take you off now and um, do some more. I bet you're going to talk about the church's birthday today, are you, Rod? Funnily enough, that's what you're going to do. Lord, we just pray for all these bodies as they dash through to the other room. Lord, help them to know that they are guided by you and the Holy Spirit. We pray for more of in their lives. Amen. So, we have, let me move some of my stuff around. We know we have a part to play, don't we, from that little skit there that Jeff and I did. We have our part to play. We can't sit back and think that, that or, or, or we might have an outpouring once and think that's it. No, it's not. When we receive the Holy Spirit, because we do, it's all addressed Every single knock is personally addressed. It's a personal invitation. So we've got that there addressed to us as a church and the Holy Spirit comes to each one of us as well. Like, uh, dear Margaret, love God. Dear Richard, love God. We have a choice though, don't we? Lots of us have had those presents, I speak personally again, that we've opened and left on one side. Hmm, I'll use that another day or I'll save that for another day. Or maybe we've hidden it away in a drawer until the right time, waiting for the appropriate moment. So let me tell you, good people, that now is the right time for you to receive and open that gift of the Holy Spirit. (coughs) Excuse me. And we welcome, mostly, the changes that happen in us. And that will be different for each one of us as Jesus sees fit. We know... (coughs) Excuse me, I'm sorry. We know that the Holy Spirit is portrayed as a dove. Thank you, Lynn, for your doves. And remember that that beautiful picture where Jesus comes out of the water at his baptism with his arms open wide, ready to receive that dove, that Holy Spirit that came down like a dove. That's on offer for all of us. Because that's what Jesus promises. Now, I want you to remember as well that he could do nothing until he was, he received that Holy Spirit. Then he had the power to do his Father's work. The Holy Spirit helps us to get, gives us a different language. I think the Holy Spirit, I believe the Holy Spirit gives us a language of love. 
The Holy Spirit is often called the helper. The Spirit comes alongside us and helps us to do things that we never thought were possible. Me standing here is one. The Holy Spirit is often called the advocate. We heard that in our previous words. Advocates speak up for folk. And they speak up for folk when folk can't speak for themselves. And so we know that the Holy Spirit can speak on our behalf. As Christians, we are meant to live in the power and the presence of God. And the gift of the Holy Spirit enables us to do much more than we ever did before. (coughs) Now, as we gently slowly, step by step, we're moving forward. Little by little, we're taking ground. Every prayer, a powerful weapon. Strongholds come tumbling down and down and down. So we don't forget, as a church, all that's gone before, all the wonderful mission that has happened from this building and beyond into the community. If we want to thrive as a church and as a building, I'm going to boldly suggest that you get on your knees, people, for what our future might look like for us as a church for us as individuals. And I hear you, what? On my knees? Okay, maybe not physically, that's difficult for me too. But actually, in your mind's eye, you can pray in that position and ask God what it is that he wants you to do by the power and the presence of the Holy Spirit. Embolden us as individuals and as a church. If we are to move forward, we need to pray that the power of presence of God is with us, or else the builders labour in vain. So as we are rebuilding our community as a church, and beyond. Let's continue to honour God in every way. Let's not say, well, once I received the Holy Spirit, once I knew I had a really happy birthday and a really happy day. Every day can be a Pentecost day. Every day. We choose. We choose when We use the gifts that people give us and we choose to use the gift, the gift and gifts that God gives us too. Let's not keep this gift of the Holy Spirit that we're celebrating today in the drawer till the right time. The right time is now. Now, in Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Wendy. And now we move to uh, our prayers and... uh, Uh, the communion aspect of our worship this morning. The collect for today, Pentecost Sunday. Holy Spirit, sent by the Father 
ignite us your, in us your holy fire. Strengthen your children with the gift of faith. Revive your church with the breath of love and renew the face of the earth through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Gather us in, Lord, gather us in, enfold us in your love, we who have come with thankful hearts, and we who are tired and anxious, who the past months, no years, seem to have caused more stress than we've imagined for most of our life. We who grieve for a world infected with violence. Where children, school children, are killed without shame. Where it appears to be fun to set light to people's cars and cause considerable damage. Father, we see a world, a community, a neighbourhood where there is goodness and support. And this morning, Father, we thank you for our neighbours, those who smile and say hello, who are supportive, who show interest in us. And we pray, Lord, for the tangle of deceit and downright wickedness that is also in this world. where people are tricked and confused to give money, to give what they can't really afford. Father, as your sons and daughters, we pray for this world, but especially where we live, the people who we know who have needs, the joyful, giggling children as they go to school, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And this morning, gather us into your house, your way of behaviour, to your table manners. Gather us in the bright, to brighten the world with smiles, and less critical comment. To gather us in to show your love to those who desperately need us. To infect our neighbours with your love. And this morning, gather us in to your table with, to be fed, to be renewed, to be joined to the vine that is Jesus. Amen. And although we can't share the piece at the moment, hopefully it won't be too much longer now, um, we're going to wave to each other. So I know that we can look at each other's eyes and know that we are smiling and waving as I say these words. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. And let's turn to the people on your left, on your right, behind you. Wave and also with you. Also with you. Fabulous. Thank you, Jan. Happy just to carry on. Or do you want me to? I don't mind if you want to well, sit down. That's it helps you. Yeah, okay. You Thank you. Share. And we come to that part in our service now as we share in the bread together, communion in one kind. Slightly 
There's an awful lot going on on the table. It's quite significant, isn't it? Moving away the things that we don't require to come to table. The Lord is here. His spirit is with us. Please respond in the bold print. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. It, it is always right to give you thanks. God, our creator, loving and faithful, holy and strong. You made us and the whole universe and filled your world with life. You sent your son to live among us. Jesus, our saviour, Mary's child. He suffered on the cross. He died to save us from our sins. He rose in glory from the dead. You send your spirit to bring you life to the world and you clothe us with power from on high. And so we join the angels to celebrate and say, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Father, on the night before he died, Jesus shared a meal with his friends. He took bread. He thanked you. He broke it and gave it to them, saying, Take, eat, this is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. After the meal, Jesus took the cup of wine. He thanked you and gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood, the new promise of God's unfailing love. Do this in remembrance of me. Father, as we bring this bread and wine and remember his death and resurrection, send your Holy Spirit that we share, we who share these gifts may be fed by Christ's body and his blood. Pour your Spirit on us that we may love one another work for the healing of the earth and share the good news of Jesus as we wait for his coming in glory. For honour and praise belong to you. Father, with Jesus your Son and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. And being made one, by the power of the Spirit, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body because we all share one bread.
you'll remember that the wine is taken on your behalf as we share in the meal together please do come forward the uh, the system is still the same as when we last had communion if you can come forward from the back and then go left your right and that way down and then back round that will be great and if we can start with the back row that will be fabulous please do come and share Jeff.
Shall we say together the prayer that says prayer after communion that is on the screen? Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ, to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. And now, again, sadly, we're going, just going to listen as Lynn plays Spirit of Holiness. Thank you, Lynn. As well as a song, that's an excellent prayer. Mm, absolutely. So, um, a bit of business. PCC is this coming Thursday. It's by Zoom. It probably will be our final one. And it's at 7.30. And Pat will make sure that you get an invite to that, PCC members. So that's 7.30 uh, this coming Thursday by Zoom. And also, I have some good, good news. Pauline is back home, for those of you that don't know. Or oh, she's not actually at home. She's actually at um, Sylvia's. And she's going to remain there for a little while until she says she don't know how she got her legs to move to get out of that hospital. But I guess that's about the power of the Holy Spirit, because she's definitely a spirit-filled lady, isn't she? Are there any other news? That thank you, Pat. As she zooms forward, new, um, new newsletter. If you've got any articles, 
Oh, no? yes, thank Please. you. Come on, yeah. Yeah, newsletter, uh, if you've got any articles for next month's um, newsletter, please do send them in to Cathy. And if anybody needs the address, I have Cathy's email address. Um, I, I'm really asking if anyone will join. Some of you used to be sides persons and stewards and goodness knows what. Uh, because of the COVID, we've had to rely on the same faithful team that sit at the back there. Uh, but we really would like to go back to the time when we use more people. So as you go out, I'll be standing there. If anyone wants to tell me that they're prepared to do their old job or a job, uh, it's the jobs have changed since the COVID. It's not really sides person and all the usual stuff. The jobs have changed. It's a welcomer, someone to sort out the uh, track and trace, uh, someone to learn from Liz how to do the recording business, and uh, stewards uh, to set up in the first place and open up. We are very short of people, really. Uh, and the same people are having to come back and do the same jobs again and again. Um, I don't think we can ask anyone to be quite as good a, um, a security guard as, uh, as Pete, but anybody who feels they could tell people where to sit and where and tell them off if they don't. Um, Pete doesn't need to tell them off, he just says sit there and people do, but uh, you're not, you haven't all got that height. So uh, if anybody could, feels a little nudge that they would like in some way to help, uh, if you see me at the door, I'll be at the door. Or well, I'm actually just outside because that's legal. Yeah, thank you, Pat. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Uh, do as you go out. Uh, it's quality street today because at happy birthdays, you always have sweets. It's quality street, because we're quality people serving a quality God. So don't linger too long. It's quality street. I'm telling you that so you can make your choice before you get there. So it's just a picking up and out you go and munch it outside with our love. And we ask for God's blessing upon us this morning. And now, and now. The peace of God, which passes all our understanding, keep our hearts and minds in the knowledge and the love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be amongst us and remain with us always. Amen. Now and now, filled with the Spirit's power, go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ, amen. amen.